Guys, I'm, I'm going to shoot a short video addressing a, a situation. And, you know, I, I've addressed my, my past in the background. I've been a carpenter my whole life, and, and I've been messing with old cars since I was 15 and a half. So that's when I bought my first car. So I, I'm going to address a situation. I have people, and this is not aimed at any one person, and, and somebody be like, man, I talked to that guy yesterday. Trust me, you're about, there was three people yesterday with the same request, and, and I don't think people realize the overwhelming amount of text, messages, emails, and, and, and responses when you have multiple cars for sale and parts and, and things like that. So it becomes overwhelming. So the first thing I always tell people, and some people get it wrong, and I get it because they're not used to it and stuff, but I, I'm, I'm very specific in my instructions. But I get asked all the time, can you find this? Can you find that? First of all, I spend thousands, not hundreds, not a few hours. I spend thousands of hours on the Internet. Um, it, you know, it, it sucks. It, it, it really does. And, and I don't sleep much. So most of the time when I'm finding things, it, it's at 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning. So that being said, these requests for I'm looking for a rust-free body for this. I literally had three yesterday. And that's okay because they seem like nice guys. But I, I try to explain to them, you know, first of all, I, I don't work for free. Nobody else goes to work for free. Okay. So that's number one. Number two, you have to be able to travel. Things don't sell in weeks anymore or in a week or in days. Good deals sell in hours now, like within hours, because these TV shows and so much bullshit, pardon my language, but anyway, so things sell in hours now because there's so many wealthy retired people playing in the classic car business that that they're sending out deposits all willy-nilly over the over the internet you know without even looking at things because they have a totally different outlook on spending their money so that being said some of the prices that people think they're going to pay for a rust-free body i'm not saying it's not possible Anything is possible, and you can always possibly find something sitting somewhere. A, a guy who doesn't carry just wants it out of the way, but those are few and far between because I find most non-car guys, seven out of ten cars I sell go to other dealers I know, first of all. A lot of things never even make it on the Internet because people are looking for things and they call me. Other things, I've dealt with people who don't want to deal with the public, don't want to deal with advertising, don't get on Facebook. So I know multiple old guys in multiple states that have car collections, and occasionally they'll call me up when they're ready to get rid of something, um, you know, and, and give me dibs on it first because they don't want to deal with the public. So all that being said, some of the prices guys are throwing at me for these bodies, I'm not saying it's not possible, but first of all, there's not a whole lot of rare bodies sitting around. These things still have engines and interiors and things like that. So even though they're not useful to you, they're, people are, you're, you're not going to get a discount and nobody's going to say, okay, I'll keep the motor because what are they going to do with it? Nothing. So some of the prices compared to done vehicles compared to what you think you're going to buy a roller for, those days are over too. Because like that Nova, it's been a race car its whole life, a street race car, but it is extremely super, super solid. And if it wasn't tubbed, people would be beating my door down for it because uh, it's never had any rust on it. So, you know, which... You know, everything I have is for sale in project state or not. I have lots of plans and I get to things and I complete things, but I, I have technically I have an order I do things in. And, and so some things are in front of other things and it takes longer to get things done. But so I can find it. But number one, when I do find it and I get pictures of it and I send you the pictures of it, I'm going to get a deposit up front before I go get it. You know, and if you want to go get it yourself, that's great. But I'm still getting my money up front because generally people, like I said, deals sell in hours now. I've seen cars sell in under an hour. You know, it, it, it's it's crazy what's going on. And some things are going to change. Some things are not going to change. TV shows have educated some people on some things, some rare items. And I'm showing this Ram Charger in particular because a whole lot of people on the planet and even Mopar guys did not know that those were full-top convertible also. And 
I don't know what super cool iconic person waved their magic wand and said first gen Broncos are worth a hundred grand, but you know a, a Ram Charger or a Scout is worth five. No, it's not the way it works. That's your opinion. There's there's no there's no rhyme or reason anymore, and and people pay for what they want. Some people don't like Ford. Some people don't like Broncos. So this Ram Chargers is worth as much to some people as a first gen Bronco. Okay, and and, and as the world finds out that they made full top convertible Ram Chargers, you know the price is going to skyrocket on these two. So I had somebody, I get this all the time, every day, your bottom dollar, you're this. The bottom dollar for me, I don't TV show price my stuff. And if you think I do, stop following my page because I don't, okay? Number one. Number two, the deal on this truck is the investment, okay? Because it's the opportunity to buy it. They're not all over the place. They're not everywhere. It's a run and driving truck that you can enjoy just like it sits and then do things to it over time and and. It's a great investment for down the road. So there's your deal. You know, will I negotiate? Maybe in person when I'm looking at cash. I'm like everybody else. I get dozens of, of messages a day. Dozens. So the next thing is I, I talk to people. I try to address them all. I'm not real good with my YouTube yet. I don't have a ton of time to, to be managing all these things. So I put my phone number everywhere. I put it in my videos. I tell people it. And I tell people, when we, when we stop talking or, or when we hang up the phone, send me a text with your name, what you're looking for, or which car you were interested in. Because by the end of the day, I will get two dozen more messages. And if you do not text me, I, I won't know which phone number was yours, and, and it's hard to keep track of. And a lot of times, I'm either working with my hands or I'm in my truck driving. I don't have a pen and paper to write things down, so you text me the info if you're serious. When I hang up the phone and I never get the text, I know the people aren't serious. So that's step number one. Don't message me through Facebook because you'll be, you'll be 40 messages down in one day, and then I'll never be able to find it again. So that's why it, you see. Serious people, I tell, to text me. But, you know, people are going to have to kind of get up with some of the times on, on what these things are bringing. And for every single person who say, I live in a very small town with a lot of nosy people, a lot of nosy people, never seen people walk up to a grown man and ask him how much he makes off something or how what he does or where he does this or where he does that. My town, hands down, worst place I've ever lived for that. People are super nosy and they're not buying anything. So it's very frustrating. And, and basically, they're just studying and paying attention and watching. And I've got guys who stalk my page and do the same thing, and they're trying to educate themselves, and that's great, you know, whatever. But I, I try to be reasonable with everybody. I've been doing this a long time. I'm not perfect. Everything I sell is not perfect either. There is no such thing as a perfect car. I don't care if it's five grand or if it's a hundred and five grand. There is no such thing as a perfect classic car. And if you think it is, drive it for a week. I promise you, it's not. So some of the most enjoyable things I have to actually enjoy are the cheapest things, and 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 they're not the prettiest things. But I, the one thing I do do that that unless stated otherwise, like this Nova needs to be wired up. The LS motor does. It's not running. But everything else here, I've driven to town multiple times. I've driven at this particular moment everything here i can say that comfortably and, and my son's generally driven it my wife drives a lot of them you know no they're not perfect stuff breaks i have it happen all the time i, I you know if i were perfect i wouldn't be doing this this you know the way i do it i, I wouldn't be doing it but things break i've had things break i've had brand new things break you know, I had a J10 a while back, that Honcho, very rare truck, had a lot of brand new parts on it, had a brand new rear end under it, and th the rear end blew apart. My my guy, who, who does axles and transmissions for a living, really couldn't figure out why it came apart. So, you know, we, I had to put a brand new posi unit in it and all that stuff, and, and it happens. You know, I've actually driven things home from from people 
you know, that were fairly local and they broke on the way home. I, I, you know, I go get my trailer or I call a tow truck and I fix it and I move on with my life. They're old cars. New cars break down too. I, I hear people complaining about brand new trucks with under 10,000 miles on them and the motors are blown up. But because it's covered under warranty, they don't get their feelings hurt as bad. You know, but new things break too. So don't think old things aren't going to break. And guess what? Our parts quality is, 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 I don't even know if I'd say our parts quality is 50% anymore. You know, I know guys that, that have mechanic shops and they have to order the same starter three times for the same car because our, our parts quality is bad. So, you know, just, just know that if you're into the hobby, it's just that, you know, it, it's a lifestyle and, and, and things happen. I get lucky once in a while. I've had cars that I've never had to touch, never had to wrench on, never had to do anything. It's pretty rare, but I've had a few. So, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, but I will find you things, but that's how it works. I'm going to get a deposit. You know, my truck don't run for free. Diesel fuel is very expensive. Diesel maintenance, if you care about, I, I maintenance my truck by miles and hours. Okay, and, and I put tires, I buy new straps every year, I buy new tires for my equipment every year. Not when they're bald, not when I have a blowout or, or an accident happens and I put my family or somebody else's family at risk. I do this stuff yearly and I don't have a lot of money. I cry every time I gotta buy six tires or I gotta buy four tires for my trailer. I buy new straps every year because I don't wait till they're frayed up and junk. And like I said, you're putting other people at risk when you haul that way accidents happen if you're running the road with derelict equipment you're, you're asking for to hurt somebody yourself your own family or somebody else's family and and i i could make a lot more money and i could add to my year-end money if i didn't do these these silly things but i i take it very seriously i've been traveling the highways you know for uh, uh, way too many hours at a time for years with my family in the car and, and you know we, we try to keep our incidences to a minimum. So anyways, that's part of why, you know, what's driving the cost of things up. Shipping is driving the cost of things up. But so to answer your question, can you find me this or can you get me this? I have people who will pay me. I've had, I, I have companies and people who pay me as much as some people are almost wanting to spend on these, these bodies and things like that. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not targeting anybody in specifically. I'm just saying it's the truth. I've had people pay me almost that kind of money to go buy, to look at a vehicle, pay the guy the money and deliver the car for them because it's worth it to them. So understand what's happening with this, this thing. And, and a lot of people are like, you know, uh, 16 grand for a Ram charger or blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? Guys are going and, and buying Chinese razors, you know, from all these different companies and paying 30 grand for them and then lifting them and putting stereo systems in them. And it's nothing for these guys to end up with 40, 50 grand in a razor made in China that goes down in value every day. So, you know, if you think the prices of these classic SUVs are, are, are high, well, guess what? Not everybody wants a Nova Camaro or a Chevelle. I like those cars. I buy those cars. I like driving those cars. But me personally, I'm more of a four-wheel drive convertible guy. I like to cruise the back roads. I like to go throw my fishing poles in there. I, I like to do other sporting type things that people do that some people don't think are politically correct anymore. Um, anyways, and that's that. So that's kind of the kind of stuff I like to do. Anyways, so. Again, as always, you get all, you always have haters. Everybody has haters. And, and, and for you guys, I don't really care because for every one of you that makes a negative comment, guess what? I got the same wife, I got the same great kids, and I got the same life, whether you say negative stuff or not. So you can say your negative stuff. And when I'm cruising the back roads listening to the radio in one of my badass cars or trucks, I'll be thinking about you, trust me. When I'm casting my pole out and catching a five-pound bass, I take a pause for a minute and say, remember that guy who said I'm asking too much for my Ram Charger or I'm asking too much for my Monster Truck or my Nova? That's what I think about when I'm doing stuff, you know, or, or, or when I'm wrenching on a car, listening to the radio and, and enjoying myself, you know. You guys are about a waste of air. But anyways, there you go. 
if you have a request for me and you want me to find something for you, I'm always looking anyways, and I, and I got a brain, so I mean, I can think of things. So it's nothing for me to find things, but know this, you know, I'll do the best I can. A lot of times if I'm delivering a car and something I find is in that area, I'll bring it back cheaper than normal, just, you know, for a day's pay to help somebody out. I've, I've done that before if somebody approaches me the right way, you know, and then the people who approach me the wrong way, I just ignore, but... Anyways, I, that was just strictly to address request for certain cars. Yes, I'll do it. Yes, I've done it. Um, but but know what's happening and, and, and be educate yourself on, on what's happening. And someday you might find, you know, your great grandpa's buddy or somebody or who knows who might have an old truck in their barn that you can buy cheap. You know, it does happen occasionally. But that's not the world I live in. I pay honest money for things because that's what I have to do to get them nowadays. I'm not working a full time job somewhere and then, you know, flipping cars on the side and waiting for the two, three, four, five dream deals a year. I'm, I'm doing this for a living. I spend a lot of time and a lot of wear and tear on my, my equipment doing it. So, you know, and, and some people, convenience is worth a lot to people. So, you know, anyways. So, if you want me to buy something, first thing you do is you talk to me. Second thing you do is I, I tell everybody the same thing. Text me your name and and what vehicle you're interested in buying and or what interested vehicle you're in and buying. And then when I find it, like I said, be ready to send a deposit and then I'll get it. But don't, you know, I get these guys and I, I blew them all off and I block them. I've had guys for years. Don't sell that till I look at it. Don't sell that till I look at it. 30 years, never bought a single car from me. Those people get blocked and banned from my page. So, because I don't have time for it. I've got a life like everybody else and I don't spend near enough time fishing or doing my other extra activities anymore and I'm going to get back to that a little bit. So, um, you know, I'm simplifying the process of, of that. So, all right, guys. Well, good luck finding what you're looking for. And if you want me to find you something, that's how it works. Thanks.